cleaned up here on the Subaru build. So we're gonna start our reassembly now, um, or pre-assembly. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some plastic gauge like we see here, and we're gonna measure all of our, our uh, main journals and our rod journals to make sure that they're within spec so we have good oil pressure. So basically we're gonna take a little bit of plastic gauge, we're gonna take the little green wiring that's in there, and we're gonna stick it on the journals um, for the mains. We're gonna torque the block up, do not spin the crank, whatever you do, otherwise the measurement will not come out right. After we torque the block up, we untorque it, pull it off, and measure how thick the actual plastic gauge is. It gives you a little reference here of a one to three thousandths. All right, let's see how it goes. All right, so I've got the plastic gauge in. Not sure if you'll be able to see this or not. Try and zoom in, but it's basically just a little piece. Come on, focus. A little piece like that you set on your crank. And what that's going to do is it's going to squish down once you get it to the proper torque, and it's going to show you how many uh, thousandths of inches in clearance, thousands of an inch in clearance you have on each uh, main journal. So we have one on each piece. All right, man, that's shiny. And uh, we'll torque it up right now. Do that. Um, this block is fully torqued together. Um, for our main bolts here, they're 34.7 foot pounds. And for our shorter, stubbier ones, they're 18.1 foot pounds. All right. And we have our smaller bolts. The one underneath by the oil pan and stuff is 4.7 foot pounds, so just a little over hand tight. All right, and uh, yeah, like I said, once they're all torqued up, we can take the bolts off again, and we'll check the plastic gauge. Penis. Unfortunately, I wiped off all the plastic gauge off the crank, being stupid and realizing I didn't video, but I have some that's left over on one of the bearings. So I'm going to show you what plastic gauge looks like after you've torqued everything up, if the glare can get out of the way. All right, so that little green smudgy mark right there, that would be your plastic gauge. That shows you how thick or how much room there is for oil to uh, pass through when you're working on your engine or when your engine's uh, moving oil. That's the oil that's going to bleed through there. So basically what we're looking at here is a plastic gauge and we're going to measure it with the closest line that resembles what we have here. So as you can see on this bearing we have about a thousandth and a half of clearance. And then we check that for each other one and we write it down. Because you're going to forget. There you go.